Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at a Macargo GX deck using red and blue to get it into play a lot easier. And out of nowhere, take one shot from Macargo. You'd be surprised what this thing can do. Before we get into the video, I do want to say I did get a new microphone for Christmas. I got a Blue Yeti Nano. Now, in testing the mic, I had this really weird static popping noise come up just randomly in my recordings. I've made like 90 recordings trying to fix this. So let me know down below if you guys hear this static noise. It's like a static popping noise. Um, if you guys hear it, let me know in the comments down below. Don't dislike the video and go hate. I'm testing things out. I might have to revert back to my old mic and maybe sell this. I don't know. It's something to do maybe with my MacBook. But if you guys do hear the static noise, let me know in the comments below. So what does Macargo do, of course? Well, we're going to be using Lava Flow. And it can do an extra 50 on top of the energy you're discarding. And that is honestly why this card is good. Because if you only discard four fires, you're then going to be doing 250. Which will knock out quite a few tag team Pokemon. And if you discard five energy, which isn't too hard to reach. Thanks to cards like Welder, Red, and Blue. We're doing 200 damage. So before we get in the video, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, if you're still trying to get Unified Minds codes, Cosmic Eclipse codes, or maybe you're looking for Hidden Fates codes, get them over at Card Cavern TCG. They have all the other PCO codes you're hopefully looking for over there too, like GX codes or Trainer Kick codes or Elite Trainer Box codes or Sleeve codes or anything like that. And if you get some codes right now in Card Cavern, you can get a free extra bunch of codes. I think five codes... And I think they're random. You can get like GX codes or pack codes. If you get anything from Car Cavern right now, if you get anything from there, use code LDF for the checkout for a 5% discount on your order. Support the channel. Help yourself out. Help out Car Cavern. So shout out to the sponsor. Now let's look at the decks. So, Macargo GX. We're going to be trying to power this guy up through red and blue, which uh, we discard two cards. And then we can evolve Slugma straight into Macargo GX and get two fires on it, which is going to power it up. And that's already doing 150. And if we already attached from a few turns earlier or attached for turn, out of nowhere, we're going to be getting like 5 to 4 energy on this guy. And we're one-shotting anything in our path pretty much. And we can even use Crushing Charge. Discarding the top card of our deck. If it's a basic energy, we can attach him a cargo. We do play 12 fires, so the odds aren't too bad. They're not great. I wouldn't use Crushing Charge all the time. But we can combo Crushing Charge with Macargo Smooth Over. If we happen to get one of these in play, we can use Smooth Over to guarantee the fire for Crushing Charge. Which guarantees us even more energy on our cargo. And on top of that, we can use Smooth Over with um uh what's his face with silvali gx and welder to guarantee free cards of ever looking for great catcher or something like that so yeah i am playing the silvali i just like this in the deck just disc reload goes well with smooth over and red and blue in general uh we got an absol in the deck i just really like playing absol in a lot of my decks right now as a one of because when you play against jirachi you can slow them down especially decks that might play a little bit slower like this deck we might you know need a maybe a turn or two to maybe get energy on my cargo to build up for a one shot absol can slow down those jirachis we of course have ditto i am playing one victini prism it's one of our only outs to keldeo my only other out i could think of to keldeo was going to be power plant so we're using both marsh out of power plant but marsh is really good to get rid of the giant or to get rid of swells for giant hearth but also of course for the power plant play we want to do and of course we have dedene for dede change two drachis as just our starter and that's it for the pokemon going to the items now two chairs balls finding us makargo dedene Savali. go with four pokecoms uh now i am playing one friend ball if we're playing against another fire deck or any deck that plays fire pokemon or any deck that plays jirachi or any deck that plays psychic pokemon or any deck that plays colors or dedene you get my point right friend ball is actually a really underrated card right now in my opinion um, and this deck having so many different types of Pokemon we can work with, this can get us something at the very least. Like, I never have ever not used this card in this deck. It always is usable. Uh, two Great Catchers, one Palpad, just to maybe get back Welders. You know, when we do Red and Blue, we might have to get rid of a Welder. So getting it back is really nice. I am playing two Switch. My cargos are pretty fat. Uh, two Tag Calls to guarantee us the Red and Blue. Of course, Hearth, and then I got a Power Plant for the Keldeo matchup. Power Plant's very nice synergistic, so you have to time this card perfectly. That's also why we have Marshadow, because we can Marshadow our own plant if we ever to use it, so we get back Bright Buddies. I got one Caitlyn Cynthia, one Maulana. Again, just having a switching card is good in Macargo, because it's a big boy. Three Red and Blues, four Welder, two Skateboard, 12 Energy. Pretty straightforward list. Let's go test on PCGO and see you in action. All right, guys, we're going to try out this Macargo red and blue deck here and mainly want to hunt down tag team decks that's what Macargo can take out because we can go red and blue immediately two energies attached we can do a lot of cool things with this deck so hopefully we run into some tag team decks we'll just have to see what we get up against here we're up against a ADP deck all right not a great match I mean Keldeo is definitely a problem even though we have Victini that's like our only way to deal with Keldeo so I don't know Keldeo is going to be 
just a pain. I do not like Keldeo at all, but it, it just makes it really hard for some of these decks to like take knockout. So we're just gonna throw a line Victini. But ADP should be a cakewalk, as long as things go well. I guess we have Power Plant Marsh Shadow too. So we have like a few outs here. Uh, we are gonna start with Ditto though. Not ideal. Our hand does suck too, to be honest. Oh no, they're playing Dark Box. I guess, yeah, I guess they're playing Dark Box. I guess like, yeah. The water would be Sneasel. The dragon probably would be, I'm guessing, again at LGX. I'm assuming anyways. Or the dragon is like something else. I don't really think there's any dragon types that could be playing though. That would like matter. So this matchup might not be too bad. We can just one shot two tag teams and win the game. That seems like a good idea to me. We do have that Caitlyn, Cynthia. Or sorry, Cynthia and Caitlyn. Same thing. Not a bad hand either. No, I'm kidding. Bad hand. Uh, I guess we'll get rid of an energy, maybe. Maybe not, because Welder. I don't know. We'll see if we get knocked out next turn. They might red and blue into a Weavile, which is not good. I guess we'll power plant then, I guess, if they do try to do that. But I need this. I need the uh, Silvali. So I don't know if I want to do that. Looks like we're both going to be doing Turmoil Caitlyn Cynthia's. Okay. So, if we can get a Pokemon, I'm very tempted to go to Dene here. So, I feel like Dene might be needed. I feel like we might need the Dene. Right, there's a Pokegear getting played. See what they find. Lily? Okay, no red and blue. So, it's actually, maybe they won't knock me out. They might just go for, like, a Dark Moon, maybe, which will still mess me up. Okay, we drew a Pokemon. So, we can do Dene now, or we can wait. I think I'm just going to go to Dene now, to be honest with you. I don't like having to Dene in play, but I feel like we can still win regardless. I just want to get a better hand than this. Like, this hand is just not very good. Um, could Great Catcher this guy up? I don't like that, though, because then if he just gets a normal Weavile, he knocks me out. Uh, yeah, it seems like a bad idea. Okay, this hand is still not great. We still can make it work, though. We can do this. Definitely going to get me a... Jirachi. Might just have a hearth away a hearth to make this work. We can still our wish maybe and burn something we draw. What would, we, what would be a good card? I guess like friend ball or something? Cherish ball or palpad. Palpad would be good to discard. Don't think I want to get rid of cherish ball. Yeah, we'll get rid of palpad. Keep the hearth around. We're probably going to need a counter stadium, so we'll keep that. I want to keep that Cherish Ball too. Maybe I should have grabbed the Cherish Ball. Whatever. Let's just go Welder. As long as Ditto lives here, we should be able to get a Macargo GX next turn, which we do find. We got everything we needed. We got the Macargo. We got the Escape Board to move Jirachi. If Stellar Wish can find us, something good will be Gucci. Maybe I should have played the Escape Board. But what are the odds they actually go for Dark Moon? Because I don't really think it's really going to do much for them. Worst case scenario, they go like red and blue into a Weavile and they somehow have double custom catchers. They might just drop a uh, Revile, maybe. They get Lily maybe into like a stadium to retreat for free. Whatever that stadium's called. I forget what it's called. Dark Moon, Dark City. There's that T-Tar Sableye. So they might go Dark Moon here. That will definitely slow me down by one turn. Or they could hit a Weavile retreat for free. If they get a stadium, they get a stadium Weavile here. No, they just play a Ditto down. That's only going to be one to Gandalf and play too, which is actually kind of nice. Let's see what they do. Yeah, they are going Dark Moon. So we should have played the Escape Board. Well, I guess we wouldn't have knocked them out anyways. No, we would have. Um, We'll obviously do this. Get Cherish Ball. We could Pokecon for Type Null. No, we can't. Never mind. Don't know what I'm saying. Hmm. We'll hearth away the red and blue. I think it's like the only card I don't really need in this hand. Like every card I need, we're going to need to retreat next turn. Now, <laughs> here's the fun part. What are the odds they play Custom Catcher? That's why I didn't evolve into my cargo because they can just hit a great catcher here and 
Well, I mean, it's unlikely it'll knock me out, but you never know. I think we'll just hold things where we're at. The only issue with this is we don't really have much to work with, but we can always Pokecom get another draw team play next turn if we need it. There's a great catcher, so they can target to Dene. This is why I didn't evolve into Macargo. Though I don't know what they would have knocked me out with, to be honest. They didn't they don't really have much to work with that can one-shot Macargo, but it's still not worth it. Dedene might not even get knocked out either. I guess I can set up for a Black Lance KO. But that, other than that, like I don't no, they're not even gonna knock out Dedene. Hoo-hoo, we drew a welder. That's pretty dirty. I think I just retreat. I'm just gonna get rid of Hearth with the uh, with the Hearth. Or maybe I shouldn't have, but I, I think we're in a good spot, anyways. I don't even think it matters. Going to Ditto, evolve into the Macargo. We'll Welder. We'll just load this guy up. Like I doubt Macargo's gonna get knocked out next turn, so we might as well just put a bunch of energy on it. We got another thing going. We can get a Type Null here. We'll see if my opponent concedes the game or not. That's the other thing too. They might end up conceding just because I'm putting on so much pressure right now. Might as well do that. We could do Crushing Charge. We're just going to Lava Flow. 270 HP, so we need to do 300 damage. So we go 100, 150, 200, 250, 300. And keeping the two energy just makes it a lot easier to maybe rip a Welder next turn and knock them out. We're going to get three prizes here. Get Tag Call. Cool. That can get us red and blue, actually, if we want to go with another Macargo GX. Which, there it is. I'm definitely the other one's in the deck. We can slowly build up for a Victini here. We just got to be a little conservative of our energies. And we can maybe hit him with a Victini soon. Get our energy back in the deck. But I think we are in a good spot. My opponent doesn't play Power Plant. So we don't ever have to worry about Silvali getting shut off or anything, I don't think. Yeah, they're going to bring in their Zoark. So they can hit me here if they get Weavile and Naganadel. Or like red and blue into a Weavile with like a Naganadel. They can definitely like hit me pretty hard. There's that Marshadow. Yeah, I should have maybe kept that Giant Hearth around. I don't know what else I would have gotten. Maybe the Cherish Ball, but without Cherish Ball, we wouldn't be able to get so volley. So I don't really think it mattered. No red and blue for my opponent. What's the last card in their hand? Nothing. Okay. We're not guaranteed to win this turn, so... My opponent does have that going for them. They have 250 HP, so we need 4 energy to knock them out. Which we don't have access to. Yeah, they just concede. I was thinking, like, we can go red and blue there, but yeah, it wouldn't matter. But uh, we do win the game, and that is what Macargo Red and Blue is all about, guys. Just being able to load up Macargo, whether we be Welder or Red and Blue, and we come in and smack them. Yeah, they're playing a Dark Box. They had Naganadel Guzzlord in the deck, so that's what that Dark type was. Cool. All right, we'll see you guys in another match with the deck then. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to get into another game with our Macargo Red and Blue deck. And, uh, yeah, that game was pretty easy. I mean, you can see what I mean, though, right? Like, Macargo, it's kind of underrated. I know it's good with Mew 3 to knock out tag teams, but even by itself. And it looks like we're playing against a metal deck. Now, they obviously have Frying Pan, and they do have a few other quirks. However, though, I still think we're okay. As long as we're using a tag team deck, we're good. This could be a Greens and Cario Mel metal deck, but I don't know, because... What would the colors be? Like Lugia, maybe? It might not even be a Greens deck. It might be some other weird metal deck. Who knows? They don't have the Amistar, which I actually kind of like, because then we don't have to worry about not having Tag Call or anything like that. So I guess it's okay that they're playing this, as long as they don't have the Amistar, but I don't think they do. It could be like a green deck using Lugia GX, maybe, with the colors type, or they're playing some other version of... Lucario Mom Metal that I just don't know about. Alright, let's see what we start with here. Jirachi and Ditto. I kind of like this hand. We can just Welder to the Ditto, maybe. Hope it doesn't get knocked out. Pray they don't play customs. Or, I guess we could have just gone to Slugma instead. I don't, whatever. Alright. Lucario Mom Metal. Let's see if this is a Greens deck or not. I gotta assume it is. Just not the newer builds of the greens, Lucario Welder builds. I don't know what you would call them. Let's see, though. There's a Cherish Ball. Now, this thing could be a problem. If they ever Great Catcher Macargo, they could, like, full metal wall all the energy off of it. And they could also make it have more health. Now, Frying Pan and Full Metal Wall gives it an extra 60 HP, which then puts this thing at technically 320. So it's actually a pretty beefy boy. Okay, there's a Slugma. 
I think I'm actually gonna Pokecom away the Slugma to grab a Type Null. Because we already have the Ditto. As long as he doesn't, like, play customs. Which I don't think he does, looking at it now. Uh, let's tell our wish first. Take the red and blue. And, yeah, we are gonna Welder to our Ditto. We're just gonna pray it doesn't get customed out. There's another energy. Should we attach again? Yeah, I think we have to. We're just gonna pass. So they could full metal wall me here. As long as they don't have custom catcher, we should be good. That's kind of the issue with the ditto. Maybe I shouldn't have... I mean, I don't know. Maybe I should have pulled comfort slugma. Kept the ditto around. I don't know. Just a fan club. And yeah, okay, they are playing like a Magnazone deck. Okay, whatever. The, the greens build it might be a lot harder to beat, but this Magnazone build is probably easier. They are going to be playing Pidgeotto, though, from the looks of it. I guess Pidgeotto is going to help them maybe, you know, dig a little bit in their deck to try to find their rare candies and stuff. They might play Melmetal GX. They might play Dustmane Necrozma. They're going to get Magnazone for next turn. See what else they do. They might just have to go for Full Metal Wall now. Not that it'll help them. If they get a Frying Pan here and an Energy, they can Full Metal Wall and... I guess put some pressure on, because again, we have to have a lot of energy to get there. Do they have the frying pan to go with it? I mean, if not, we don't even have to get rid of that much energy, because they already are weak to fire. Nope. Okay. So, let's see we draw Dedene. Let's see if we can get a Cherish or a Pokecom. No. We'll take the escape board. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just, we're gonna go all in. We're gonna draw a couple cards with with Silvali, and then we're gonna go to Dene if we don't get the Macargo. Okay, to Dene it is. If we don't get Macargo here, I mean that is gonna suck, but we should find it, right? What? We didn't get the Macargo? Bruh, what? Yo. What else could I have done there? Like, there's nothing else I could have done to find the Macargo. We just got unlucky. This is only doing, like, 50. Dang it, bro. Are you kidding me? We actually didn't hit Macargo. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is really surprising. There's the frying pan. Well, we have enough energy on to knock him out. We can still get the smooth over going. So as long as they just don't custom catcher me, I'm happy. We can always just red and blue in a cargo next turn too if we want. It's going to be hard to one-shot this though with the frying pan and the extra damage it has. So this thing is pretty dang bulky. Man, that sucks. I can't believe we actually didn't find my cargo there. So I guess as long as they just don't play two custom catchers, then we should be safe. I don't think they do play custom, so they are going to knock out Jirachi. Which is unfortunate. There's nothing else I would have done about that. I didn't want to go into any Pokemon on my bench, obviously. So, Jirachi's just going to have to kind of get knocked out here. There's a Lily for six. They're running on all fours here. They got everything going. They must have top-decked the pan, too. Because they would have attached that last turn. Oh, man. I can't believe we actually whiffed my cargo. Oh, they're actually going to steal. Fi oh, yeah. They whiffed an energy. Okay. I would have thought they drew one off a of Lily, but I guess we just got lucky. Okay, so they didn't get energy there. That's good. That's really good. We still need to find Macargo. I might just have to do smooth over for it. Let's just test this. Okay, we got we got the Macargo. We're good. So we need to do 320 damage to this thing. That's a lot of damage. So we can go here. Well, actually, let's just get Welder. We'll draw one with the Welder. And we'll just load this thing up with energy. And we're still Gucci, right? We can still do Victini. As long as that option's still available. And I think we need the extra energy on this Macargo, because it looks like we're not going to go all in with Macargo next turn. Take a big knockout. Could just YOLO it with Crushing Charge. I'm not going to, though. All right. So we got 320 HP, so we go 100, 150, 200, 250, 
300. We have to get rid of six energy to knock this thing out. Dang. Six energy. Holy cow. Okay, we got a power plant. Okay, welder's good. Can we get anything else to boot? No, no giant hearth. We actually have four energy left in the deck, so we don't even have enough energy. So I guess we have to go Victini. Um, okay. Hmm. I think what we'll do is we'll play Burning Magma next turn. Try and mill their deck a little bit. And then we're just gonna have to wait until we set up a Victini play. Which we can do with Smooth Over, so... We'll have to just wait till we get a Victini play. We'll have to just sacrifice my cargo. Either that or find Switch to go into Jirachi. Because we're going to have the Victini here to get the energy back in the deck so that we can go back with another Macargo. I don't know. Assuming we don't have an energy prize, we have four energy left. We'll have two to build up one Macargo. We'll see. It's actually funny. They can't even knock me out with Steel Fist and Heavy Impact. Right? 150? Yeah. So we have to play very tactically here with Victini. Okay. What am I doing? Could get Malolana here to go into Jirachi. This thing already has an energy on it. That's one less energy we have to build it up with. Yeah, you know what? Let's go Malolana. We can check the deck too. We have three energies. So we need one for Macargo and two for Victini. Victini is indeed in the deck. If Victini wasn't in the deck, I actually don't even know if we could win, to be honest with you. <laughs> We're going to Maulana here and get rid of Power Plant. That can definitely go and probably one Slugma. Just going to fully heal the Macargo because why not? So what do we need here? We can get a Pokecom with Smooth Over, which I think we'll do. Just guarantee the Pokecom, which will get us Victini. I might even just switch to the other Slugma, too, to be honest with you. Which I think I'll do. So we can Jirachi for Giant Hearth. That's pretty much the idea. Unless he drops a... Uh, well, I guess we can still Marsh Shadow. We'll hold the Poke Common Pass. Well, we could get Stamped. No, I should have played the Poke Common, actually. But we can't bench Victini. It would have mattered if we got Stamped or not. It doesn't matter. We'll bait him. Ooh, there's a baby Melmetal. Okay, that's uh, a little interesting. It's only got 180 HP though, without the frying pan. See if they get a great catcher. No, they are stamping me. That's fine though, we have Savali. There's Victini, okay, beautiful. So now what we need to do is get Welder. And two energies. Or we can Crushing Charge and get energy. So we actually have a few options here to use Victini. We're not going to one-shot Lucario. We're only going to be doing 140 damage. Let's see what happens. My opponent's going to go for airmail. Hopefully they knock me out. Hopefully they don't go Great Catcher. If they got Great Catcher and stamp off that Tain Liza, that's pretty bonkers. That's a pretty busted Tain Liza for five. See if they have any more stamps in the deck. They might be playing Power Plant too. There's a very low chance though, because they need Mount Coronet. Maybe they can heavy impact me instead. I guess we gotta worry about that. We still have a great catcher though, I think. Yeah. I think I saw it too. I think it was in our last hand even. I don't know. I think we're good though. Yeah, they're just gonna knock me out. Okay, perfect. Everything is working out just as we thought. So we can't win this turn, but what we can do is try to go the Victini. We just need to do Victini to try to guarantee us some leverage. It wasn't really the draw I was expecting. Oh, they actually just conceded the match. Look at that, guys. Macargo caught a dub. Um, I think I'll wrap up the video here with the deck. Let's see what they had, actually. They had one stamp. They had Great Potion. Okay, so they probably could hit a Great Potion there, too, to uh, possibly slow me down. They have, what, 14 energy? 8 plus 6? Yeah, that's insane. But that's all the day's feature for you guys on the Macargo deck. I think we showed off what the deck is aiming to do. We didn't get to use red and blue with Macargo. But trust me, in my little recordings I did with the deck in the um, pre-testing with this new microphone to make sure... I was trying to fix that stupid static noise. I actually did use red and blue with Macargo quite a bit. 
I might even just throw in a random clip here at the very end of the video. But that'll wrap the video, guys, with the deck. It's a pretty cool archetype. Um, I don't know what I would change about it. I thought the deck was fine. Really, if we had more outs to finding Slugma, that would be fine. I don't think we can play Oak or anything, or Elm, or not, no, it would have to be, it would have to be Oak or Fan Club. Uh, just because we do rely heavily on Welder and Red and Blue, so I don't think we need that. Other than that, I think this deck played pretty well. I don't know what else to change about it. The deck seems pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that'll wrap the video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below to help we're reaching 7,000 subscribers. And as always, check out our Smart Car Kyron TCG down below, too. If you get anything from there, make sure you use code LDF. And again, comment down below if you guys watched the video fully, if you guys heard any staticky, cracky noise. Um, let me know. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter down below too. I'm close to 200 followers. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and bye-bye.